welcome to chemistry tutorial 360 today we are going to draw the lewis dog structure for phosphorus trichloride right okay to draw the lewis dog structure for phosphorus trichloride at first we have to find out the valency electrons for for phosphorus then we have to find out the valency electron for chlorine look at here the atomic number of phosphorus is 15 so if we do the electronic configuration for phosphorus we have uh, we'll get this electronic configuration look at here uh, here the highest value for uh, principal quantum number is 3 that is the valency shell for phosphorus is the third shell and you know that the electrons in valency shell are called valence electrons so in for phosphorus we have 2 plus 3 that is 5 valence electrons or we know that group number indicates the number of valence electron in elements phosphorus is a element of group 5a that's why it has 5 valence electron you have to delete the subgroup a or phosphorus is an element of group 15 if you delete the first digit then you will get 5 that is phosphorus has 5 valence electron now we have to find out uh, the valency electron for chlorine you know that chlorine is a uh, is an element of group 7a so if you delete a then you will get 7 or 17 chlorine is an element of Chlorine is an element of group 17. So if you delete the first digit, then you will get 7. Look at here. The highest value for N equal to 3. And, and here, the number of uh, valence electron is 2 plus 5. That is 7 valence electron. Look at here. For phosphorus, in phosphorus trichloride, look at here the number of valence electron in phosphorus we know that 5 and for chlorine we have uh, 7 valence electron for each chlorine but here we have 3 chlorine atom so I can multiply here by, here by 3 that gives me 21 so totally we are getting 26 valence electron in phosphorus trichloride right to find out the central atom uh, for phosphorus trichloride uh, we have to consider the electronegativity of these two atoms. You know that central atom has lower electronegativity or central atom is the atom that is single. So here the electronegativity of phosphorus is lower than chlorine. So phosphorus is the uh, central atom. In the first state we have to connect central atom with the outer atom right look at here or we can write this this thing like this because every every line indicates two valence electron right look at here here we have used just two four six valence electron but but we have totally 26 so if i divide then we have 20 valence electron left and these 20 valence electron will be uh, we'll use these 20 valence electron to fulfill the octet for outer atom first then central atom so look at here here chlorine has two valence electron we need more six valence electron to satisfy its octet right so look at here this color right two four six every chlorine has ta taken six three chlorine atom that is uh, 18 but here we have 20 so we have two more electrons and these two more electron will come over the central atom now look at the chlorine atom here chlorine atom has six dot but here we have two so that is eight that is 
chlorine has satisfied its octet. Look at here, phosphorus is 2468, so phosphorus also has satisfied its octet. So, and already we have used all the valence electrons. Now, let me find out the formal charge for each atom. Look at here, formal charge equal to valence electron minus dot attached minus line attached. Look at here, for chlorine, what will be the uh, formal charge? You know that the valence electron for chlorine is 7 uh, from the electronic configuration or group number. Then dot attached to this chlorine is 6 minus line attached to this chlorine is 1. So basically, we have 0, right? formal charge for chlorine every chlorine is symmetrical or similar so all chlorine will have zero formal charge now let me find out the uh, formal charge for phosphorus phosphorus has five valence electron from from the group number or electronic configuration then dot attached to this phosphorus is minus uh, is two minus the line attached to this phosphorus is three so basically we are getting zero formal charge for phosphorus. You know that the best Lewis structure is, is the one that has zero formal charge for most of the atoms. So I will have a blog post in the description box of this video. You can read that blog post to get m more ideas. So thank you for being this video. Be well.